Hey guys, so in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to move between Modo and Substance Painter. And in particular, a user, uh, Neurashams on Facebook, was having problems with baking inside of Painter against a high-res object. So I'm going to be walking you through exactly how I tackle that. So let's go through this example. So in my case, what I have is I have a box. This is my low resolution box that needs to be UV'd, by the way. And in my case, the cube always comes with UVs. So your low resolution box or objects always need UVs. Just remember that. Next up, what we have is a beveled box like this. Okay. And this will be my high resolution object that I'm going to be baking against. Now, before we do anything, before we grab these objects and put them inside of Painter, with these objects, or rather this box, needs to have a vertex map assigned. What this means is that right now, if you look at this with no wireframe on, right, you'll notice that there's a lot of faceting between these polygons, right? So there's a very sharp line, there's a very sharp edge between these polygons. We do not want this because what ha what's going to happen is if this object has sharp normals and then we bake that uh, against a very smooth object that's been beveled instead of painter, then you will get those bevels rendered, but at the corner you're still going to get a very sharp edge so you need to be able to you need to make sure that you delete that or at least smooth the vertex normals on the low resolution object first and then it's going to be blended into the normal map okay so let's go through the steps of creating that in our case uh, inside of modo the way you do it is first of all if you go into from properties down into lists uh, and open up other, you'll notice that there is no maps in here. So we need to create uh, the vertex map that's going to go in here. To in, in order for us to do that, you need to press M to create just whatever test material that you want. And you'll notice that, well, not much has changed outside of the color. If we go into shading, the material that you made is over here, and the same material that's assigned to the object. If you click on material, go to properties, and refresh that make sure you go to material okay you'll get usually something like this so you can move it down or up or whatever and under surface normal notice the smoothing angle now we, we have to increase this right and even if you go down to like something like 90 you'll notice no result the reason being is that the angle between these polygons is exactly 90 it needs to be the smoothing angle needs to be greater in order to smooth it so if I go to something like 90.1 you'll notice that now it is blended Usually I like to go to like 135. You don't have to, but in this case, it's going to help a lot. So we've smoothed over the normals, right? So now you can't really see the faces unless I select them or even highlight them, right? So the result is overall blended. But if we go back into our list, you'll notice that the vertex map has not been made yet. So in order for us to bake that, or make that rather, you need to go into vertex map over here and go to set vertex normals you could leave the name by default and use smoothing angle so the smoothing angle is going to come from the material that we just made and assigned so if we now go to click OK you'll notice that now in our list we have a vertex normal so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save out this box and the beveled box separately in my case I'm just going to very simply copy and paste into a new uh, scene then I'll go to OBJ, and in my case, this is small box normal. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for the beveled box. Copy. Oh. New scene. Paste. And save as. OBJ. Beveled box. And we are good to go. So now let's head over into Painter. Now inside of Painter, just make sure you go to New, uh, New Project, and then go to Select, select your small box normal, or at least in my case, that's the case. Go to OK, and you should get a box that looks overall relatively smooth, right? And now comes the part that uh, Neurashams was having problems with. So if we go to Big Textures, and I just honestly, I just want to bake a normal. I don't want to waste my time with the other ones. And for high definition meshes, I am going to select the beveled box. 
Okay, and f uh, one thing you have to know is that you have to increase the max frontal distance, right, or max rear frontal distance. And what that means is that if your box is bigger than the beveled box, then usually you want to use max rear distance. And if your box is smaller than the be beveled box, then you want to use max frontal distance. It, it, all it is is basically just which way the normals will be shooting uh, in and out. Uh, depending, well, yeah, anyways. So now if I try to bake textures, as you can see, it worked. This looks great. Now, my only problem with this is that you see the bottom here. It's kind of dark, right? I'm not loving the way this looks. I mean, this is as low as you can go, sure. But I think we could do a little bit better. So in my case, let's just go to discard and make a new project. And I'm going to be using a small box with a bevel. OK? And the box will look something like this. So if we go down into here, viewer settings, and then look at the wireframe, you'll notice that I made a single bevel. Okay, and let's go over and repeat that same process again. So, big textures, select the beveled box. Again, I'm gonna unclick this because I don't wanna be waiting. And increase these two, and big material textures. And as you can see, the bevel looks all right but the bottom is no longer all that dark. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. And we seem to be having a little bit of a problem here, but I think it just has to do with the max uh, distance. I think I sh should have pulled it a little bit further away. Anyways, that's it.